Hey guys, pretty carnations from the garden or the florist shop? I think they're better on a card. What do you think? Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and I am here to welcome you to a fun and relaxing video on video lesson on how to draw a carnation, carnation bud, and how to watercolor them in in a simple and easy way. These are not going to be botanical representations of these pretty little flowers. This is a little bit more whimsical, a little bit more freeform, and a lot less stressful. <laughs> We're not worried about making all of our petals perfect. So thank you for joining me and good morning to everyone. I see all kinds of places being represented here. If you are new, welcome. I am so excited you're here. Make sure to click that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos go up. I am looking forward to doing this. Let's see here. I have, oh, um, couple different things just at the very beginning here we did these roses wild roses on Monday's video look for the thumbnail for this this project watch this project after the carnation and answer the question on the Google form I'll put the link for the Google form in the chat and I will then put it into the comments afterwards uh, put the sign up on the Google form and you get a chance to win this pretty wild rose. We did this live on the channel. You can learn how to do it. It's really easy. It looks fun too. It is fun. <laughs> Boy, all my words. <laughs> Good morning. Ah, beautiful, happy, shiny people. I like it. We're all bright and shiny today. And uh, next thing on housekeeping is that I did a video on how to do the carnation bud as a one minute Tangi video. And Tangi is a um, short form video lessons site. Short form, I mean like one minute or less videos. Ah, new subscriber, welcome. So on Tangi, I show in one minute how to draw this carnation right here, this one. I show how to draw it. And then in about 10 seconds, I show how to paint it. The 10 seconds is a little bit um, compressed, a little bit sped up for the painting, but the drawing of it was one minute. Well, actually less, about 45 seconds. <laughs> I have so much fun. And so Tangi, one minute videos, all DIY creative stuff. And um, follow me there because when I get to 100 followers on Tangi, I get two minutes. <laughs> and sometimes all I need is another 15 seconds. And then I wouldn't even have to speed up the uh, watercoloring of those little guys. We are going to be getting started here. Yay! So I see Arkansas and Mississippi and the Netherlands. Wow! I know I've got uh, Florida and Arizona being represent represented and uh, some, I think, Alabama or Arkansas. I think I saw somebody from there too. Uh, before we get started on the big one, we're going to do a quick representation. Ha <laughs> ha. You're going to say, that's quick? Yes. Because really and truly, the uh, carnation is just little flat rectangles that are wavy, that are stacked up on top of each other. We're going to zoom in here. We've got our little folded book. We've got a pen any paper, any pen. This pen happens to be waterproof so I can uh, watercolor right over the top of it. 
So when you are doing a, oh, Philadelphia, yay. So there we go. I have um, this little folded book. I did a lesson on this also. So folded books. We're going to do a whole day of just folded books here really soon. I am going to go ahead, give myself a little, I'm going to use a pencil first. Give myself, there's a little center, and then I'm going to make kind of a spiral going out. What that does, and Canada and New York City, oh my goodness, I love it. What that does, giving me, myself the little spiral, I can go and do my little wobbly center. We can zoom in on that even more, I think. Oh, maybe not. I'm pretty zoomed in. Okay. Then we're going to do petals. And each petal is basically just a little kind of fan shape with wobbly edges. But what we're doing is we're growing it out in that spiral and we're getting our petals to kind of overlap, but they don't always have to overlap. That little space there in the middle. See how it's going? I'm not following that spiral exactly. Look at that. Look how quick that's going in. The spiral just is reminding me that that's what I want to do is work my way out. And it's also telling me how far out I want to go. And you don't have to be worried about counting your petals. Just make it as full as you want. The more full it is, the more like the florist shop carnations. Okay, look at that. That's a carnation. Now to do the quick little bud, this right here, I can do that one right there. So the quick little bud, which actually looks more like the ones that would grow in the garden, has this little cap or cup at the bottom of it. It's got some papery type leaves wrapped up around that little cup. And it tends to have sort of a little jagged top. Then we're going to put our petals on in more like a trapezoid fan shape. See, look at that. And then stack up your petals going in. Maybe stick another one sticking out. And you see, I just went right over that line. That's no big deal because when you go in and you put your little detail lines in, it hides that. So maybe I want this one to come around. Just like that. And you can put as much detail on the inside as you want. You can add more petals. All up to you. And that's our doodle. Okay, so nine minutes and that's all that chatting and talking. We have the doodle. Your favorite flower is peonies. Ah, you know, peonies are beautiful. And peonies are actually very much like the carnations. So sure, I can do peonies. Um, we could do peonies sometime next week. I have a landscape that I want to do on Monday. So now we've got our sample. I'm going to grab a piece of watercolor paper. This is 140 pound watercolor paper by Arteza. And it is taped down onto a piece of plastic corrugated board. 
we have and this is just signboard that you can buy in the poster board section at like Michael's so excellent thank you so much Amy I really love getting to do these kinds of things so I am going to zoom out just a second so you can see the layout why do you all right so I am going to do a little bit of a layout here I think I am going to put a big one that's facing me right here I'm going to have a big one that's sort of going up I'm going and away so it's going to be shaped kind of like this because it's going to show some of that um, some of that cap part that we did here it will show some of that maybe not all of it and then we'll have one of the little buds over here and then my stems will all come down like that I think that's gonna be pretty right now it looks like um, something sticking its tongue out at a snail <laughs> I don't know <laughs> no you haven't missed much yet we're we've been doing some housekeeping things like uh, talking about entering for the rows that we have for uh, giveaway on Monday and we're going to draw it live on the show and from the people who enter on the entry form so I will put that entry form link here again but you have to watch whoops not that entry form link I have my tangy link first there we go my tangy I showed how to do this little guy in one minute on tangy and so those are quick fast lessons I have the getting the Google form come on my mouse just doesn't wanna doesn't wanna there we go paste that there and so the Google form make sure you watch the video that has this flower these roses on the cover on the uh, thumbnail because when you do that you'll find out what the question is that you need to answer because only people who answer the question on the entry form are actually going to be entered all right I have got this all lined up we're going to go ahead and go into the close-up view grab my pen oh before we put the ah we were gonna do that before we actually put the drawing in I want to get the background on today hello Australia so is it Thursday morning in Australia now or Thursday or, or late 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 Wednesday evening I know that there's like 14 hours or 15 hours between me and a lot of Australia I think our background is going to get wet I'm not going to wet the flowers to start off with but we're going to go ahead and just get a soft color put into the background and I think it's going to be a little bit more maybe a little more spots and such we'll get some blue on here I want to clean my clean my blue up just a little bit this brush is a this is a number or a three-quarter inch flat brush by mimic and it's nice and floppy <laughs> so I'm I'm using it to kind of drop color onto that and I'm splashing color all over my my painting 1 a.m. oh my goodness 
So it is Thursday. Yeah. Wow. I'll just touch it now. What I'm doing is I'm making it look a little bit more like there's clouds in the background. But I think I want a bit of green. This is a cool green. They uh, call it the jade green. There we go. It's nice because it's going to just give us a soft layer of color in the background and we're not going to have to fuss around our flowers. It's a nice way to do that when you Ooh, that one's darker. I picked up the other blue. Put a little bit of it in. I want some of the greens, though. A little bit more darker green down here at the bottom, I think. Kind of like this is sitting out in a garden. Good enough. Ah, well, you already know how to, how to draw the carnation because we did that. So that's a good thing. And you can always come back and watch these videos afterwards if you are busy and going off and doing something else. I know a lot of people actually watch the videos the first time just so they can hang out, listen to the chat, or do other things while they're watching. There we go. All right, so that's out of the way. We're going to dry this real quick. And this is just a heated craft tool. Um, I got this a few years ago. So I need my tape is going to pop loose because I am getting the getting it warm. But once we have the the background down like this it doesn't really matter it could come completely off the card if it needed to the background the backing board <laughs> I love when you guys come back and watch the whole video it uh, makes me really really happy to see that my videos are actually helpful you know It's fun to try things later too, when you don't have that pressure of trying to keep up because you can always, you can always push the pause button. Right now it's a little hard to push the pause button because I haven't done it yet. <laughs> okay, so let's see if I can get that to stay stuck down. Now we're gonna grab the pen get my watercolor out of the way. I'm going to start off with this one that's facing us because I think that's the one that's going to be completely in front. So right here, we're going to go in and basically do what we did here. We're going to put a wobbly center and then we're just going to start stacking up the petals and they don't have to have as deep of a wobble you know mostly that wobble is going to give us places where we can put um, put some definition lines so it can be a softer wobble your petals can be a little bit more spread out they don't have to be quite as tight centers of carnations tend to be a bit tight and really, this is just like growing a rose. You can have thick petals and thinner petals. It's very similar to a peony also. Peonies tend to be more deep and cupped.
Carnations do have lots of smaller petals. Sometimes you get those bigger ones. So it is different than a rose. See how I'm stacking them up? Just let your hand have a bit of a wobble out there on the edge. And this is a lot more like the carnations you get at the florist shop versus the carnations that you grow in your garden. I've been finding that the ones that you grow in your garden, though, smell so much more sweet. And then you can go back in and you can even stack in more petals. So that way they end up getting tucked in underneath of each other. This is a doodle. This is a relaxing doodle. So you can doodle in as many petals as you want. Get them stacking in. Sometimes they'll stack up in really weird places. So just stack them up and have fun doodle, relax, and if you end up doing this where you just doodle the entire thing and don't put any color in, that's great. Having a color background and doing a black and white uh, paint uh, drawing is a lot like um, some of those really pop arty type artists that are out there. I've seen some embroideries lately that are really floating my boat where they do like the um the hand holding the flowers and the hand is just black and white uh embroidery work line work and then they do the pop of color with colorful line work for the flowers or you could do the opposite way you can have a real hand or colored hand holding black and white flowers Oh yes, a white sport coat and a pink carnation, yeah. Uh, was he wearing a Panama hat? A Panama hat and a something too? I can't remember. I It's not a song from my, my era, but it is one, I think I, I think Annette Funicello sang it on a um, Mickey Mouse Club also because she, she covered a lot of other people's songs. Now see, just saying Annette Funicello is like dating me, but I watched the reruns of the Mickey Mouse Club. So... Where do you find that? The, the reruns of the um, Mickey Mouse Club? Probably on, on one of the Disney channels. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, Annette Funicello, oh my gosh. She was like the sweetheart. Everybody loved her. And they, they auto-tuned her voice too. So she she had some she had some help in the recording studio. Alright. I think that's got enough detail for us to know that's a carnation and not a rose. Right? So I think now I'm gonna come up here and we're going to draw in the one that's sort of facing away from us and where these guys join in to each other they tend 
to have a real bump of a junction. Let's see. I think the, the stem from that one's all coming from here, though. Just like that. Okay. Why am I filling in some of the intersections? I'm filling them in because carnations tend to have lots and lots and lots and lots of petals. You don't have to. You absolutely don't have to. I, I was feeling like it was a looking a little bit more rose-like than carnation-like. So I wanted to just add more petals. And it's a doodle. So we can. <laughs> this one, I'm putting the petal going up. And then coming out on the sides like little wings. And eh, I want that one to come forward. Remember, it's okay to do that. Your petals can be wrapping around each other. And this is a bud before it's open. And in doodles, you can make some decisions afterwards. You're not, you're not limited to just what you put down to begin with, with your pencil. Yes, Annette Funicello, she did uh, the GIF peanut butter commercials. Very wholesome young woman. Very, very lovely adult woman. When she did all those commercials and things like that. You know, she went from being everybody's sweetheart to being everybody's mom. <laughs> there we go. Putting, I'm just putting some little detail lines in. You don't have to. You can put your detail in with the watercolor. Oh, the leaves on carnations tend to be sort of curled back leaf like that. Always stayed classy. Absolutely. Um, she had a contract with the Disney um, Disney Studios and there were some uh, beach blanket movies that when she turned into more of an adult teenager she wanted to go and do some other types of films and they had some rules for her from the from the Disney company that um she could be in a two-piece bathing suit, but her belly button couldn't show. <laughs> Crazy stuff like that. Let's see. See how I just made that, that petal that kind of ended up being a, a wobbly petal laying down? I drew my, my little U shape and then I gave it a wobbly line and then I just made a wobbly rectangle. Ah, oh, welcome Gina. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate you being here. I know you have lots of things going on in your world. Your grand, grandkid. And so I'm looking at the back Look at that. I just made the bottoms of all those petals. The same type of petal that we did right here for the bud. I just put it in coming in underneath. See, it's the same petal.
and then I'm making the underside of the or backside of this like that and then I'm just going to start stacking up those center all the little petals I just drew a line across there what that did is it made it look like the ruffly edge kind of got bent back maybe when it was being transported from the florist or the grocery shop it got a little bent my flowers usually have adventures <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing with the things that people would put up with to get a job and then not be able to do a job <laughs> anymore unless they did it specifically for that company that they they did it for. Artists, um, and I think that people who work in movies and theater are artists, should have the you know, rights to their, <laughs> to their work, their likeness and all, uh, Disney and pretty much all of the studios back in the day, basically signed people to contracts that made them, you know, totally beholden to the, to the, uh, studio that they signed with. Luckily, many of them could sign just limited contracts, so they didn't have to sign a contract for all of their life. But um, some people, it ended up being almost like being a um, indentured. You owe the you owe the the company, and that's that was not not a good thing. All right, so now I'm just putting some really deep shadows under the edge of the flower there. Makes it look like it's standing in front. What was the name of the colored fine tip pens I ordered? Um, they are here. If you don't mind, I'm going to go and grab the pen. Just had to go across the to the other side of the room so these are the signo uniball um, 0.28 and i'm finding that with these the 0.28 is really really fine and i think i want to go and find the point three eights but it's a it's a nice oops get back here it's a nice fine line and it was 10 colors of 16 dollars i think um there's no yellow and i don't have the black one here in my hand right now because i when i grabbed them i only grabbed these but uh you pretty much have your rainbow so now I have to go and put them in rainbow because, you know, that's just how I, how I go. There we go. So that's the pens. Oh, probably need my... Which brush? Oh, okay, we're going to go this way. We're going to get the watercolor on here now. Oh, yeah. If you don't have a waterproof pen, what you want to do is go ahead and put your watercolor down and then draw over the top of your watercolor after it's dry. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Amy. Yeah. 
There, see? I'm going to go ahead. These are the Arteza watercolors. They are just um, a student level. Student level watercolor. And I like to use them. Are the inks black or the same color? The inks are different colors. There. Oops. Oh. I need to put a, an eraser down. I'm going to set this out of, out of the way for a second. And we are going to test something. Because I did not test to see if these... They said they were watercolor or waterproof. So that's the purple, blue... And these are clicky. So these are retractable. Pink, red, orange. Okay, I guess I'm swatching. <laughs> Since we have time, right? Green. Another green. Another blue. There's like three blues, a black. This is a blue black. Um, so now we'll take a wet brush. You notice I haven't even let these dry, so we're just going to give it a quick, okay, wet brush. See, it's wet. Ooh, okay, these colors are waterproof. Not even lifting any color. Oh, that's nice. I know that I've had some people asking if I would do some color doodles. So, <laughs> so there we go. You know, remember, I, I, I can be drawn off. I'm that, I would be that teacher. I would be that teacher, you know, the one that you didn't really want to do the lesson that they were teaching, so you would ask a question. And just to, to draw them off so that they would go off and do something else. I'm going to take the pencil lines off. This is just a kneaded gummy eraser, a kneaded eraser. So the, they are the Uniball, the, these are the Uniball Signo 0.28 RT, and it is the UM 155-28. So, and they do have, I believe, that same ink in um, the 3.8 size, but I don't think they do as big a pack of colors. But they do, they do have them in color. So now I'm going to go ahead and drop water down. Boom, boom, boom. This is not going to be a color each petal type of process for me. And I think, ooh, there's going to be white and the magenta amaranth color. Be kind of like the 4th of July, the Independence Day colors, the holiday colors, the flag colors of many different countries. Many countries have sort of that pretty red and white type effect. Look at that. Easy peasy. This is the first layer. You can let this dry and come back. So we'll do that. I'm going to get the this one wet now. And this is quick coloring. This is not, again, the, bot the botanical type color. <laughs> well, 
I'm glad that I'm entertaining. That's, you know, that makes me happy to know that I'm entertaining. So I'm putting color at the base and then I'm leaving it lighter at, at the edges. And by doing that, it lets it flow up and kind of fill in. but leaving me places where there's brighter tones. I want to drop a little bit more dark in a couple spots here and there on this other one now, on the first one. Well, that one's dry. This is not dry. This is still wet. And this kind of uh, drawing with lots and lots of petals, this is the type that would be awesome for sitting and coloring with colored pencils. If you are interested in the materials I'm using, they are listed down below in the more information box and there are affiliate links. So I do earn a small commission if you purchase anything either from my Amazon store or from Arteza off of the links that I have listed. There is a coupon code listed down below also if you are interested in saving 10%. And the coupon code that I have right now is good through the end of the month. So I'm just picking up little bits of that amaranth and just dropping it in kind of at the corners, the junctions where multiple petals are coming together. There might be a little bit more shadow in that those spaces. Watercolor does lighten as it dries. So you can, you know, put something in a little bit darker than you think. It is going to lighten up a bit. Well, I am glad that I was able to get the carnation done for you, Gina. Thank you. Gina was the winner of the uh, unicorn popsicle. So if you're interested in winning one of my pieces of artwork from the Monday video, so anytime I'm this month that I'm doing a Monday video. It's a giveaway. And if you are interested in winning, go to that Monday video. It's the R Wild Rose for this week. And the giveaway will be next week when we do the landscape. Okay, I'm just going to let that let that sit. But now you can see how there's some depth to it. Oh, the very center needs to be darker. Because those petals are more together. Look how that how that's different. You know, I did a columbine on my uh, tangy. So I hope that you check that out. Tangy is that one minute uh, videos. And I will do, I will do a video of a bunch of tan, a bunch of tangy, a bunch of columbines. Because yes, I believe that those, that they are stars with petals on top too. Yep. We're going to do a landscape. It's going to be a doodle landscape. So, you know, it's going to be fun. I did not completely clean my brush up. There's a little bit of the pink red here. But I am just getting the petals wet. I'm not getting that base of the, the petal wet. And you see how there is, um, where is that? A little bit of the blue got in here from the sky because of where I drew it. That's fine. Yep, uh, just check out the all the different kinds of variations. Irises are so pretty. Yeah, there's so many flowers we can do. So I'm going to grab that that 
dark red amaranth color again. And right here at this crease. Whoosh. Ooh, that's pretty. And then coming up the petal a bit. And just letting it letting it bleed out into that water. I love the variations that you can get with flower petals. You know, your your flower is your flower. You might look at the reference or this, uh, what I did here in this video, and you might try to do exactly what I did, and you'll come close. You won't do exactly what I did. You'll do exactly what you do. And so it will be your flower. I do have a, I do have the quick reference on my patterns and templates page on deliberately creative so if you are looking for just a flower reference and a doodle reference i've got those up on the website for you look at oh gosh that is just coming together so nicely i think i want a bit more of the dark right down here where it's coming out of that green bit. Aren't those pretty though? A little bit more dark. That's really wet there. Thank you so much, Debbie. I hope you have a lovely day. Snapdragons. Snapdragons are a complicated flower. The same with sweet peas. Sweet peas are beautiful. They're complicated. I love them. I love complicated flowers. So now I'm going to take some of the um, fern green, really dark green, and put that up here in the stem. I'm not wetting the stems down. So that way the paint pretty much stays in the in the channel. I'm letting it get lighter up here just because if it bleeds into the petal, I just didn't want it to turn totally green. But that's giving me my base coat. And then you can carry that color along. You know, you don't have to don't have to color them too too hard, too hardly, too you don't have to hardly color them. How about that? Whoa. And then a fun little curled leaf. I am going to grab a bit of yellow and get a little bit of yellow up here. Liven this up just a little bit. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? A little more yellow. Maybe a touch here. Kind of where they join up together there. They can be a little bit lighter. Grab a little bit of that darker green again. Drop just a little bit on the wet paint now. I am doodling with the paint too. That's... I'm just sort of looking at it going, ooh, what can we do? Oh, we could drop a little bit of color there. Or we can try a bit of darker color here. So use your artwork, use these cards as a way to practice and learn different techniques, different forms, And we're going to zoom out on that now because really and truly, guys, 
you to zoom out. Oh, look at that. Let's get the tape off. I am so excited to see how it looks. I did this one on the smooth side of the paper. The Arteza paper is that I have is double sided. So it's got a smooth side and whoops. Sometimes the smooth side gets a little bit um, caught up on the tape. So pretty. I want my pen. I set it down. Where did I set it down? There it is. I want to sign this. That is so pretty. We'll go back to the zoom in. We'll go back to the zoom in. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate you being here. Remember watching a video all the way through one or two times and doing the artwork uh, really helps. And it helps me a lot when you watch all the way from the beginning to the end because then YouTube will share the video out with more people. <laughs> it's, it's just the way it is. I love it. I think that showing you face on, sideways, and a bud was a good call. I want to see you back here again on Friday. We are going to be doing lavender in a little pot. And it's going to be beautiful, fun, fast, and easy. Thank you guys. And remember to do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I hope to see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye.